What's up, you guys? Spooky Neighborhood Geek here doing another toy review. I know it's been a while. This is also like a toy review slash, actually a toy re-review slash slight update. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, it feels so good to be back doing a little brief review. Um, might be doing another one. Uh, well, definitely, I do plan to do a second one, um, which I'll get into that towards the end of the video. Um, but yeah, yeah, I hope everyone's been doing well. Uh, thank you for continuing to follow, subscribe to me. Like I said, um, I'm more active on TikTok because that type of content is just easier for me to make and put out. Um, and over, you know, periodically, I'll try to uh, put that, you know, videos I do on TikTok, I'll try to upload those to YouTube or make a completion, you know, there's still animations I still like to make periodically. It's just, you know, taking, it's just having the energy to do that and, and having the time to do that, you know, to make a, make a decent little stop motion animation. Um, but yes, we are doing a re-review. Um, I got this figure around the time I believe it came out, it was released and my copy was defective it came broke and i think i shortly after i i, I threw it in as an extra to a, a, a listing I, I had made at the time so we are looking at once again um transformers studio series 86 core class iron hide yes a little mini figure um i got this from the pharaoh um they are an ebay seller on ebay uh, who sells a lot of Transformer toys. I've bought a lot of loose figures from them over the years. A plus five star seller. So I've always had good, you know, good service. Um, so I was like, okay, you know, if I buy from them, even those figures pre-owned, you know, I buy from them, I know my figure is going to come, you know, without any issues, which I'll, you know, get into. Um, unfortunately, there is a little scratch on here, but I think that I think it came like that. It's not super noticeable, you know, but, you know, I, I like my figures to look pristine. So it's unfortunate, but like I said, it's not a big deal. You can't I probably want to show up that well on camera. Um, and I see another, another area, which I'm not too happy about, but I'll show that when I transform him. Um, but this guy was a repaint slash remold of core class ratchet. I could have got both of them, honestly, from the Pharaoh. But it was like $30 for both of them or something. Even taking a few dollars off, it was still like, ah, I don't want to pay that much for two, you know, little legend scale figures. So I want to iron hide more. I'll get Ratchet down the line. Um, and I went ahead, so I, you know, I went ahead and got Ratchet. I think I paid like $10, $11, which was reasonable. Um, but yeah, he's very charming. Uh, paint, sculpt, everything is cool. I really dig him. Um, you see how these two little shoot guns on the side. I love when characters have twin weapons. I have a lot of Transformer figures with twin weapons. So I think it's really dope that Ironhide has twin weapons. And if you have any other little accessories that, excuse me, could fit in his hands, excuse me, then you could, you know, probably display him with that. I have a, a KO Lego a Bumblebee that was based off the last night movie and he came with a little hammer accessory. I'm going to see if I can uh, plug that hammer into Ironhide's hand. Um, see if that would fit. That would be really, really cool if I could have him holding that hammer. Um, but like I said, the wheels roll decently. Uh, these two front wheels and this wheel back here rolls, you know, uh, probably the best. This other one, not as much, but again, you can, unfortunately, he doesn't really roll the best, but you can still play with him like he's a regular car and push him yourself. Um, like I said, I like the Autobot symbol. I like, he has, probably won't come in that well, but he has uh, the windshield wipers molded. He has a back windshield wiper molded. Um, he's just very charming. He's chunky, which is appropriate, he's, but he's a very... Very cool figure. Like I said, I really wanted this guy when I saw him, you know, um, advertised, listed. So to get something you were looking forward to getting and have yours be defective, 
you know, really bummed me out. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'll get them again down the line, but I'll focus on getting other characters for now. Um, but a little size comparison, here he is with my uh, Cyberverse or Legion class Barricade, who I did do a re review on um, maybe last year or something. Um, and they, they look good together, even though this is like a 10-year-old figure and this is like a, a you like this figure is like a year, a year old or something. Um, they look good together. I didn't think about it. I could have got, I should have got another, uh, this is from the TLK, the Last Night toy line. I should have got another one of these. Um, the Pharaoh has uh, Autobot Drift for sale, and I really like that little minifigure. Um, so I might get that next, maybe. But that's like 15 bucks, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to pay $15 for a little Legend class toy. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I might get him, like, get him with another figure. Because if you get more than one figure, you get a discount. Um, but yeah. So finally, let's go ahead and transform him, and then I'll show him in robot mode with barricade. So first, you remove uh, these guns on the side, right here. Easy to unplug and peg in. Uh, I guess you can open the back part back here, which will open the leg cavity. Um, and you pull, let's see. Let's see, pull, oh, ball joints. <laughs> oh, it's coming apart. Well, this will go ahead and finish. These pieces fold down. That folds the legs. Um, and it's supposed to rotate like that. Rotate and fold this leg in. And um, let's see, uh, where were we? Uh, maybe it's, I think it's on the right size. It's on the right side, yeah. Um, fold this leg, so it's facing forward. And then we have the back piece. Uh, this, uh, detach the arms from each other, fold that piece down, fold this forward, then pull the head out. And then we have Ironhide. Fold the arms up, get them well acquainted. And there we go. Um, originally I missed a step. I didn't know you were supposed to rotate the waist, but uh, here he is. Um, and he looks great. My this copy, nothing loose, nothing broken. Uh, hopefully it'll stay like that. Um, now on this arm. Um, I noticed there's like a little stress right here. Can't you probably yeah, I probably won't be able to see it. Like not the ball socket, but the the shoulder piece. A little bit of stress on the inside, but it doesn't it hasn't affected the articulation or anything so far. Um like I said, the one I got, the whole arm piece was like cracked and even with applying super glue didn't help. It was cracked and the arm was just completely loose and just completely ruined the toy. So this version, like I said, I don't have that issue. Um, and he has decent posability. Of course, knee, knee joint. Of course, legs can go in and out, ball joint, waist swivel, arms can go 360. He has solid posability in the arms and shoulders. Um, and he looks really cool with these two guns. And like I said, if you have any other weapons that would be fitting for Ironhide, um, his face probably won't come in that well on camera, but take my word for it. You know, it looks, he has a really nice molded face, nice blue eyes, metallic paint. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you have another weapon that could fit to his hand, um, I have a sword that came with a old Legends class Optimus Prime, who I no longer have, but I do have his weapon. Um... And you see, so you can have Ironhide hold this red sword, which is cool. So I've been posing him with that sword. Um, and Barricade can hold these weapons as well, and he can hold that sword. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, really charming figure. Second go around, like I said, I really like him. I'm debating. Um, like I said, I'll stand him right there, and we'll briefly... 
uh, transform barricade. So like I was saying, um, if you've been following me, I, you know, since February, I know a long time ago, thinking about it, it's about to be uh, November, um, I decided to look into a, a military career. Uh, I was looking into the Air Force. Um, I got in touch with a recruiter. I took a, a practice exam just to see, you know, I guess how well I would score on the ASVAB test, which is a t test you have to take before you can um, enlist in the military. Um, didn't do so hot. But of course, I, I still had the opportunity to take my ASVAB test. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I had to lose weight. Like I couldn't even take the test first. I had to lose weight before I could even take the test. But I know it sounds a little crazy. Um, and I think I, at the time I was two twenty. Now I'm like two, like close to two hundred, like a little, a little under two hundred, basically. Um, but I've made a lot of good progress. You know, eating habits, all that stuff. I work out like almost every day, every other day, every week. Um, but, you know, it's about to be a new year. And, you know, I, I feel like I haven't, um, like, you know, I haven't uh, got to where I wanted to get to just yet. Um, but you see, put a pause on that. Um, well, uh, but yeah, you see Barricade Together, which this is a repaint of the Cyber, Transformers Prime Cyberverse uh, smoke screen. I really love this mold, um, and honestly, he kind of looks like evil, like a little evil smoke screen, like Nemesis smoke screen. You know, it looks more like a Nemesis smoke screen than Barricade, but still really like him. And they do look good together, even though they're from completely different continuities and have completely different art styles. You know, I think they look really cool together. Um, but yeah, put Barricade to the side. Um, but yeah, Ironhide. Really charming. Like I said, I might get the Legends, Legions class drift. Um, so yeah, got a little sidetracked. Um, I think that will do it for Ironhide. So again, if you are interested in this figure, absolutely recommend them. Just be mindful of you know the potential QC issues. I mean, QC mean quality control. Um, but he's very charming, very very cute, very like you know little pocket desk transformer um i oh i know another let's do another size comparison really quick um my rare super rare um what energon unicron um here is a unicron of course unicron is bigger is appropriate um here let's see let's get barricade in there too of course unicron is bigger than ironhide and barricade but uh oh excuse me they look cool together um yeah they look cool together but back to really quick like i said back to the update I don't want this video to be too long talking about a, a little core class transformer. Um, like I said, I had to lose weight and I made really good progress, but I had to get my weight to like 180. And like I said, it's about to be the end of the year and I'm not near 180. Um, so I decided to uh, still pursue military career, but I'm going to enlist in the army um, instead. And then when you do your for those who are familiar when you do your uh contract with the army rather for your six year um once it's up you have the offer you know the option to transfer to another branch which a friend of mine a good friend of mine is doing um right now um so i might do that you know if i end up not liking the army and decide to do you know air force instead then you know i might do that you know just i guess you know take a detour just you know switch just have to do you know what works best for you basically um, and not to be all over the place, but I noticed like my recruiter outside of just giving me the information and I thought they, you know, the recruiter was, you know, doing their job for the most part. They were professional. 
um, outside of giving me the information. They really didn't, you know, like do the things that I, I would think a recruiter would do, like check in, uh, check in on me or even, you know, help me with the weight loss or anything, you know, just kind of gave me the information. That was it. So that was low key kind of a turnoff from wanting to, you know, enlist if like you're not even giving me, you know, the type of energy I would expect for someone who's trying to encourage me to get in, into this, you know, line of work or whatever. Um, so I'll probably do that in the next next day or so, get in contact with a recruiter and, and get that process going, you know, an army recruiter, get that process going. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So of course, you know, when I'm getting closer to that ship date, when I go to basic training, of course, I'll make a video talking about that and the future of the channel. Um, like I said, I mentioned I might get some more of these legend class figures. Um, I was really looking forward to the G1 universe Optimus Prime from the Legacy toy line, which is starting to pop up in different places. Um, that figure in Slipstream, but of course, you know, if I'm going to be leaving and I can't take my belongings with me, it wouldn't make sense for me to buy a figure and a couple months later I'm leaving. It's like, you know, like I really didn't get, have really get enough time to really enjoy that figure or, you know, whatever. So I might get Optimus. I might not. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Um, I was thinking maybe taking Ironhide, just taking a little small piece of my collection with me. I know, um, certain things are not allowed, of course, in basic training, but it's something tiny like this, um, I might be able to get away with <laughs> taking him with me. Um, cause I was going to take a Unicron, but it was like, well, this figure is really rare. And, you know, very hard to get, so I wouldn't want to risk taking it with me and then getting it confiscated or having it be damaged or lost or something. At least if I take something small that can easily be replaced, you know, that wouldn't be that big of an issue. But, yeah, um, next review, I will be talking about a certain uh, gaming icon who's having their third movie um, the same month as my birthday. Um, this figure, though, isn't mine. It's my brother's, but it's one of the more collector-oriented figures, so I'll do a review on them, and stay tuned for that. So, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, you guys.